May these words and all our thoughts be in the name of God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. The season of Advent, which begins today, is often seen simply as a time of busy preparation for the celebrations of Christmas. This year, with all the huge uncertainties and challenges and limitations on us from the pandemic, there's a very understandable desire to want to get to the time of festivity and celebration as soon as we possibly can. We all need a break. Even in a more normal year, the temptation to rush through Advent is very considerable. However, if we give in to this temptation, we can lose some extremely important insights and themes from our Christian faith, which are more vital than ever in a time of adversity. Sometimes it's better to travel slowly. When I was 11 in 1966, my family moved to Surbiton from just south of Manchester. Surbiton had a fast and reliable train straight into Waterloo in the middle of London. And I occasionally took that fast train in order to go into London. It meant that my experience was rather limited to Surbiton and its surroundings and central London, but not much in between. Over the 18 plus years in which I've served as Bishop of Kingston, my knowledge of all the stops in between Surbiton and Waterloo and many other places has become much more profound. I've engaged with many different churches and communities. All bring their own richness and diversity. There's much to be gained by taking the slow train and getting off at the various stops. So too in Advent, however tempting it might be to rush through to first stop Christmas Day, it's well worth taking the slow train through Advent. Advent's central theme is about waiting in hope for the coming of God in Christ into our world. Advent invites us to see our lives in the light of God's presence at the beginning of creation, in Christ's incarnation and into eternity. Its traditional themes of death, judgment, heaven and hell and the focus on Christ's coming not only in Bethlehem but also at the end of time, might seem unduly sombre in our current situation. However, I want to suggest that these next few weeks of Advent represent a real opportunity to reflect and pray about what really matters in our lives, about where we place our fundamental hopes and how we seek to live. The pandemic has made us all think about how we really want the world to be, and there's much debate about building back better. If we can enter into the deep themes of Advent, this will help us see how God is at work in the midst of all things to bring about new life and new hope, and especially through the coming of Christ. So I want to encourage us all to try to take Advent seriously, perhaps more seriously than ever this year. If we learn to wait in hope, then we discover the deep foundations of our Christian faith, which bring new life and light, even in the darkest of times. One way of illustrating some of the rich themes of Advent is through the Advent ring of candles, which many churches use in this season. There are four candles in a ring surrounding a central white candle. Each of the four surrounding candles are lit on the Sundays in Advent in turn as we move through this season, and the final central one on Christmas Day. Each of them represents an important theme. The first on Advent Sunday we remember all God's people waiting in faith. It's so easy in a busy world which extols activism to spend very little time being genuinely still and waiting on God. When we can learn to do that, our perspective on life really does begin to change. Psalm 62 begins by saying, On God alone my soul in stillness waits. From him 
becomes my salvation. We've been encouraged this Advent to be very intentional in our daily prayers and to take time to be still. However short that might, moment might be, it can make a real difference to how we see things and how we live. On the second Sunday in Advent, we remember the prophets and their hope in God about which they spoke. They were often in their own time living through very tough situations and people were asking all kinds of questions about where is God in the midst of all this. The message of the prophets was always that God is at work in both judgment and salvation to bring hope and right order even through the most difficult of times. So we might want to reflect on the basis of our hope in our challenging times and especially our hope in God and how God is at work in our world through the coming of Christ. On the third Sunday in Advent we remember John the Baptist, the forerunner of Christ and especially his call to repentance. With the coming of Christ and the kingdom of God we are called to repentance and reorientation from our self-centred ways of living to being God-centred and other people-centred. It matters that we live lives of care and love and justice for all. So we might want to take time this Advent to review the way we live our lives and especially in the light of the challenges of the pandemic with the calls for economic and environmental and racial justice and how we're responding to those and how we are keeping the two great commandments to love God and to love our neighbours. God does forgive, but we need to reflect and repent and seek forgiveness before new life and new hope can flourish. On the fourth Sunday in Advent, we remember Mary, the mother of Jesus, and her willingness to hear and to obey the call of God to bear the Christ child. What does her example of obedience inspire us to? What does God want of each one of us at this time? And are we being called in a new direction, either individually or together as the church and as the world? These are just some of the many deep themes of Advent. By paying careful attention to them, they help us to wait in hope and to prepare for the great celebration of the coming of Christ, both at Christmas and at the end of time. They remind us of God's eternal presence in all things, in both judgment and salvation. So it's really worth taking the slow train through Advent and trying deliberately to stop at the various points as we go through. This Advent, as we wait in hope, I hope we won't be tempted to take the fast train to Christmas, however attractive and appealing that might seem. In Advent we are offered the opportunity to discover afresh the basis of our Christian hope, and so find the comfort and joy which the presence and love of God in Christ can bring to us and to all creation. Amen.